no matter where you are in Canada, high school basketball games rarely draw big crowds. That doesn't mean there's nothing to see. At North Vancouver's Argyle High School, the star of the girls' team is Alexandra Biwag. Supported by a half dozen top Canadian universities and a couple in the U.S., she's decided to go to UBC. The school itself is one of the top schools in Canada, and I thought I would take that opportunity to stay at home because it's such a good school. And the other thing it also helps that VWEG's tuition at UBC, about $5,000, will be covered by an athletic scholarship. She and her dad, Peter, can thank Amir Novin for that. The 25-year-old entrepreneur's website is how UBC found her. Novin created ScoutMe.ca to keep Canadian athletes in Canadian inter-university sport. For $400, it provides a custom-made page for each student, including their statistics, their grades, even a video highlight pack. We are essentially a matchmaker between coaches in the CIS and athletes in the high school and college levels. We're going to dreadlocks. <laughs> there are dozens of recruiting websites, but most are devoted to connecting Canadian athletes with American colleges, athletes such as 17-year-old Jordan DeRoy. His goal is a soccer scholarship in the U.S., and he has a good offer from Niagara University near Buffalo. Like based on your SAT marks and grades, they'll send, they have a formula that they'll send it out to certain schools in the U.S. So basically they'll send it out to schools, and then um, certain schools, depending on their interest, they'll respond to you. It's a mesmerizing thought. Athletic scholarships, some worth tens of thousands of dollars, to play U.S. college sports. An estimated 1,500 to 2,000 Canadian students head south every year. Yet many recruits don't always end up staying. Basketball Canada says 7 out of 10 players return to Canada after their first year in a U.S. program. The head of Canadian Inter-University Sports says expectations and reality don't often match. Some students have told us uh, that they had their academic course loads restricted. Uh, they were compelled to take courses that they didn't necessarily want to take, but that fit in with their <coughs> athletic scheduling. Critics of Canada's system say because a first-year student must have an 80% average or better to qualify for an athletic scholarship, many talented athletes have no choice but to seek some kind of U.S. scholarship. Still, Canadian coaches know there's a chance some of them will stay here because of Amir Novin. Canadian University coaches love my service because we work together to keep Canadian athletes in Canada. To him, Alexander Viweg is proof that when it comes to combining education with sport, there's no place like home. Tom Harrington, CBC News, Toronto.